Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to try together. Today we are going for a Valor Man. I saw that recently this game and I um, pick it on the wish list and I was seeing through the, the images and the videos and I was like this looks amazing and I want to be part of this game. So so I bought the game and it's early access game. It's a roguelike um, game where we will be playing as a magician and we will be slinging ink around and there is a bunch of like possibilities, at, at least it seems. And I want to dive into this and see if this game is any good. If you want to try it yourself, you can find a link in the description. But for now, let's jump into the game and see uh, how it's like. So yeah, we are going forward. So what's going on? I can't, I, I really enjoy, really, look at the art style. It's like, a, you know, uh, it's stylized. Look at the mage. It looks awesome. All right, so we are, we are moving around. We can dash around with the shift. We can jump. We can uh, yeah sling the ink so so we have some some abilities and we will we will be collecting some um, power ups and so on. So let's go uh, talk to the grimoire. Uh, I don't know scribe uh, of the library. It has forever been in charge of the scribes and maintaining tomes. The safeguarding every page with a spell and ink, a cycle and decay and restoration. Okay. All right, all right. What else? Okay, so we need to go there. So that that's kind of like okay. Uh, how how to play? Right, jump. Nice, we made it. We good. I think we are prepared. All right, so we are um, destroying the this thing. All right, let's go for another one. And we generating mana. And this mana will allow us what? Oh, to go for a second ability. Okay. So so with the first one we are recharging mana, and with the second one oh, we just can spend it. And give me a second because uh, yeah. Let's go camera sensitivity like three and let's go three. I think that will be uh, better. No, it will not. It will not be better. Okay, so let's go four. That's maybe too much. Oh, let's go five. Let's go five. That 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 six is too much, but five will be good. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I would love to be. So uh, let's go forward, shall we? Okay, we can. Uh, we have double. We get two dashes. Okay, and it's recharging one at a time. What do we have here? The cycle of domes. Rot and decay have always threatened to crumble these pages. Always they are mended. Yet, this one is different. Sick. Torn. Okay, what do we have here? Oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? So there are some enemies. Oh my god, I got uh, I got damaged right away. No. Let's go for, for those double... Uh... Oh my god, I'm getting... I'm getting wrecked. So uh, we got the armor on the left side and we got some uh, some HP. So uh, yeah, uh, what you can't see is behind me. There is a shift ability that you can't see. Oh, you can move. Away. All right. And there is the left click that you can uh, can't see as well. And there is a right click that is the power ability to when uh, we have enough mana. So now we are, uh, I guess we will get some, some, uh, something to boost us. So aftermath, uh, M dash leaves a bomb behind. Okay, all right. So intensify to go for dashing. A friendly swoop. Periodical attacks nearby foes. I kind of like that. You can now double jump. Oh, that's also cool. All right. I think I will go falconry. Just, you know, have something uh, to be periodically attacking enemies without me to really go into it. Because, you know, I want to focus on those basics first. Okay, so we're going back down. You right. Dash. The Torn, the page of power, borrowed but strong. The Torn will uh, find them too. Let us steer their hunger, that we may outwit and defeat them. Continue. Okay. What else do we have? Torn hunger, chapter two. What? What's going on? So aftershock. Torn may launch electric orbs at nearby scribes when damaged. Mm -hmm. Remnant. Torn explode when slain. And we get torn again extra damage after damaging scribes. Let's go aftershock. I don't know exactly how it goes, but you know what? Let's let's try it out. There will be a lot of like learning curve will be there, right? So it will this will just emerge. Yeah, they will be there and we can we, we should go more into like uh, dashing, right? 
And I want to focus that guy that's is trying to kill me from afar. And then we can uh, deal with this. Okay, so we get, a, uh, we get the pushback, which is fine. Or the melee guys. Signature ink, a chromatic edge against his ravenous foe. Spells and ink of a new color, dripping with potential. Ooh, blue ink. And we got critical strike. So yellow ink. Every four jolt. I think that's the first ability. Will flourish. Gain plus one um, yellow crystal. And uh, flourish. Critical strike for double damage. Every four jolt will flourish. So every four attack we will critical strike. Okay, jolt. Mana generating ability. Okay, got it. And yellow mana. Spender will flourish when used. Spender will flourish when used. So when I use this, I will um, get the second. Okay, and this one. Uh, jolt applies blot. And get plus. So blot damage for six seconds. Apply unlimited stacks, each swing in independently. Okay, jot. So that's that's our first ability. Blue mana, splendor damage applies blot. And that azure pool, a blue pool that lasts for seven seconds, continuously applying blot. Okay, we are going with this one. Let's go for a crit chance. All right, so we can uh, we can try. What? Oh, it's attacking us even. What? God damn it. So every fourth is a critical strike. That's a yellow number. I like that. Signature spell empowerment flourish. Oh, all right. So we got a new ability Q for 30 seconds, and it will be a, go for an, a swoop with a flourish. Okay. If I'll go like this for it, so there is a. Yeah, now I get the crystal. I, I see it on, on the right side, in the middle, okay? And now I'll do this and we'll do 100 damage. So I want to go for the basics and then use this uh, to use this as a crit, uh, crit strike. Alright, makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, there is a collect reward even. Quillmark earn. Spend quill marks to unlock new abilities and inks. Alright, and we are returning to a uh, library. So that was the tutorial. Oh, I love that. How is it drawn? Oh, that's that's so cool. That looks so good. At least I, I really like that. Wow. That's a that's a big library. You don't want to see like, you know, to search for one of the books and I'm like, what was the name? And where was it? <laughs> it was just pain in the ass. But yeah, I think this guy is made for it. The Eliminated Library. Endless floors house infinite tales here. The font at its heart, source of the ink. This is Illuminated Library. This is home. Prepare yourself to write an end to our mysterious new threat. Okay, so what can we do? There is a one thing that we can do. What it is? Some book. Okay, <laughs> one of the many. So spend quill marks to learn new spells. So this is a currency that we will um, we will get through the through the going through the runs. Generator screens mana when damaging torn. Okay, torn on the enemies. So we are uh, we can uh, go for a different kind of ability. Okay, mana fuel spenders infusing them with signature ink. All right, so that's a spender, and then we have a movement ability. So we will be able to go for something else. For example, what is our spender? Can I click it? And swoop. That's just, yeah, summon Raven to seek out and knock away enemies. I kind of like the knock away. Passage. Hold and release. Cast our glass that shatters and persist. And then we have Hulk's anvil to bludgeon all enemies along its path. That's also cool, but that's mana cost two. This is one. And we can go with the different. So Jot, that's uh, just pummel the foes. And we have Foil. Oh, we can go Melee. All right. Manifest, hold current anchors with increased frequency in overwhelm falls. Okay, interesting. Punctuate, hold and release, conjure lens. Okay, and we can go to even more. Quip, lash out with close range splash, impacting the area of several foes. I think we good. I think we good. Oh, you know what? I don't want to. I want. I don't want to go for anything new because we even haven't tried this one. Come back later. So that's that's one thing. There is another one. Shum. All right, let's go. Let's go. What do we have? First book, tomes. This is your first tome. One of the battlegrounds against the torn. Fill this shell by mending tomes. Each tome has a unique central aspect, altering the course of combat. Some tomes have been overtaken completely. You'll need these rewards to push back to Torn. Prepare a tome to return to the font when you are ready to begin. 
Okay, so we are going for that because we don't have anything else. Scribe and Toy. Ink from the uh, font. The font previously boons for all scribes. Work together, evolve its influence. First completion. Uh, wolves? Can I like? No. What? Is it like what do we what do we have to do? First completion. A new tome cleanse. First completion. So when we complete it, we will unlock new tome. Beat binding level one. We will unlock something. Beat binding level five. We'll unlock. An okay. 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 Understand. Understand. So we will go and come back later okay there are so many things that we will be able to interact with as a as a progression and more more stuff to deal with all scribes and torn see how the blight spreads from the page to page the damage of this tome must be undone mend the tome scribe by when and torn within may the font guide you well okay and then now scribe the torn and and torn so now we are going for the book we chose before if i understand it correctly and that might be wrong all right, scribes and, and torn. Chapter one. All right, let me let me go back. So we got scribes and torn. Chapter one. So there are many chapters that we can go through, and there is a boss. Okay, uh, this is our like uh, things that we have now. We can change between those. I would say uh, if we will have different different things, and we can choose a different thing. And this is something else. Okay, let's go through this first. Swoop gains 50% size, 25% damage, and now roots. Okay, so there's uh, our spender ability. A friendly swoop predicate attacks nearby foes. I kind of uh, like that. A chop now pierces enemies and environment and gains 15% damage for each pierced object. Oh, man. All right, let's go for a piercing. Just, you know, we will be using the first ability a lot. So I feel that this is a really good... So what now? Oh, they are attacking. Okay, they are attacking from that side. So uh, uh, let's go get there. Pew, 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 pew. We should use that to our uh, the best ability. Okay, we are using the Q. Uh, all right, we we dealt with the first uh, first enemies. Love it. Okay, that was a miss. I can't win them all. Oh my god, I'm getting damaged right away. Ouch. Is it dead? Yes, it is. Bang. For 100, I love that. I, I try to dodge that. Try to dodge everything. Oh, no! Bro! What are you trying to do here? And that's it. Chapter complete! Oh, nice! We got it! Flourish! Gains plus 30% damage. That's our Q, uh, no, not Q ability, that uh, the spender ability when we use that and, and recharge the, the yellow gem. Okay. Fine control. Dealing flourish damage reduces the cooldown of yellow signature. Okay, and gain a 5 varnish for 5 seconds when you flourish. Varnish. Each layer reduces damage taken. We will get, so that's 5% down. You know what? Let's go with this one. That's just straightforward. The font grants different team-wide power each time. Yeah, you can play this uh, co-op. Interesting. So, every chapter, scribes gain four of those, whatever it is. You must fill powers to gain their boons. Okay, unlocking new rope grants pa uh, page of the power. Look for unique tome exclusive powers. Alright, so we get four. And we got, those are locks, so we have only those three. What is this? The font creates a beam between itself and the scribe book, dealing 10 damage to Torn. Mm -hmm. The font negates the first scribe death. Okay, that's interesting as well. Scribe near the font continually gain layers of varnish. That's kind of interesting as well, that we will go for the, some defense, or we can go for the damage. Hmm, let's go for the damage. Uh, nice, and now we have it. And we are going for Flourish next. So now we have this. What is that? That we can, like, unlock? I don't know. I don't know what is this. We can't go for anything else. We can't click on those, so let's continue. We got the, maybe the scroll. Oh, maybe because we got the scroll, now we can choose. Something else. Flourishing with Jot grants temporary um, mana crystal. Okay, interesting. Taking damage at chance uh, to trigger your yellow signature without increasing its cooldown. 
I'm not kind of using that <laughs> that much, so no. Uh, Jot gain size. Yeah, uh, that's just overall good. We will be able, we are piercing and we get the big, big, bigger um, area. So I think that's cool. What is this? The Tor Hunger. So it's just um, uh, something that will... Okay. Torn can arrive with a fiery barrier that burns nearby scribes while active and explode when broken. Ooh, so this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Torn may launch electrical or the nearby scribes when damaged. Okay. Or Torn deal 15% to scribes per unspent. So we need to spend a lot to be able to like negate this. Let's go Aftershock. No, let's go fiery barrier and we will try to, like, you know, keep the distance. Maybe that uh, will be fine. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh my god. All right, all right. The next, next trial is here. We are kind of close. This is, this is not good. Okay. Oh my god, they are charging. Oh my god, I haven't expected that, even though I could. That something, something bad like this could happen. All right, that one is dead. We got another one. What are those, uh, those exclamation marks? I would love to know. What is that? I collect something. I don't know what it was. Uh, hopefully it was good. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god, he will be charging. We good, we good, we good. Yellow. Oh, behind. What is this? I don't know what it is. Is it like, uh, is it like meta progression? Like, we need to collect those resources to be able to use them later. Okay, he will be charging, but not in my on my watch. Oh, no. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. We will kill him. Good. Oh, my God. Why we are... Do we need to uh, keep close? Whew. Oh, no. Behind. Chapter complete. Wow. All right. Gain 100% against foes with barrier. And they have barrier. And dash double its movement strength. Each use of jolt gives you next swoop plus 10%. That's also good. Let's go barrier or this. Let's go with this one. We are just going for the basic attack. All things considered. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the font creates a persistent area. Each chapter then continues layers and varnish. Mana modes. Uh, how much for it? One? It's always a one? Maybe it is. Mana modes have 20% chance to drop from slain foes. When collected, gain temporary. Okay. The font summons crystals. Each chapter then grant temporary uh, mana to all scribes when destroyed. I think near the font continuously gain layers. Let's go with this one. And we have the next one unlocked. What is this? Because we can unlock it right away. The font creates a portal that can teleport scribes to random parts of the map. Eh, not like that. The phone converts all temporary of the nearby scribes to their signature ink color. When any scribe uses signature spell, the font pulls a torn towards itself. No, I think I will... Hmm... Hmm... It's interesting. Like, this one is nice, but we need to keep... Let's go with this. Let's go with this. We got another one. We got another scribe or another scroll. Swoop gains size and damage and now roots. Mm -hmm. Flourish with Jolt's Grand Temporary. Correctly timing the second attack of Jolt deal. Nah, we will not go with that just now. Uh, let's go Albatross. We're using that quite a lot, so why not? Why not? So next one. Now we have another hunger. Oh, yeah. Now, now I'm getting into what's going on. Uh, Torn attacks. Torn attacks root scribe with a full barrier. Oh no! Shield of blades. Splices have thirty-three percent chance to arrive surrounded by spinning blades. I don't know what is splices. Splices. Torn group close quartered brawlers. So there's one of the groups. Okay, let's go with this. We will need to get away from them or or just kill them fast. I don't know, but th 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 this will be tough. This will be tough, I, I can tell already. Okay, there is the first um, uh, area. Oh, no way. We need to start like, the, you know, kill those small ones. All right, that's that. Okay, good. We kill them. Oh my god, there is uh, something that we. Oh, the, is this the is this the the thing? Oh, he's throwing archery thingsy. 
All right, that was good. What? I can take something there? What? I want that. I want that. Can I have it? In Flory, when the floor What? So it's like temporary thingy? I don't know. I don't like those archers. Oh, no. I use my, my, my thing, uh, the Q ability. I should use it more. All right, we, we are. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see him. Okay, so we got another one. Enemies killed by Flourish have 50% chance to spawn Black Hole. M dash applies some mark on the occurring target. Using Jaw uh, also fires Seeking Bolt. Whew. All right, we are going with that. And we got another four that we can spend. We need to spend six to be able to go for our next row. When you, any scribe uses signature spell, no. The front convert is all temporary. What what I liked. The font summons a crystal each chapter that grants temporary uh, to all scribes when destroyed. Many modes have 20% chance to drop from slain foes. You know what? Let's go for a mulligan that negates the first scribe death. Death. That this is this is decent. I love that. Alright, so we are going for another one. Chapter 4. Bolstering. Torn always bolstered in nearby allies when slain. Raving area effects gain 50% size. Death phalanx. Raging grants vulnerability to nearby torn on death. Uh, significantly increase health, damage, and size. Stack up to 5. Let's go with this one. A torn group crowd controlling beasts. Well, let's go with this one, but I'm kind of like really skeptical that this will go well. All right, all right, let's focus on what's behind uh, before us, and that's a fight that we need to win. Okay, okay, okay. They they spawning good. Right away, I went for the Q ability. That's it. That's I think. Oh no. I think that was a that was a good decision. Okay, we got the we got the armor back. We still don't have the Q, but we are using as much- Oh my god, they are in the line that's perfect for us. Is there someone else? Oh my god, what the hell? This is- this is kind of like strong, I can't get through this. Ah, too early. Dash, a little bit- a little bit wrong on my side, good. And dash give your next jolt more damage. Currently timing the second. No, flourish damage increased by 100%, but base damage decrease. Ooh, so I'll, I I think I will go with that. Using dash chance to yellow signature. No, we will go with this. I'm using that thing only when it's yellow, kinda. So that's good. So now we can go and pick this one. And we will unlock that. Get two, so we can have this one. Barrier modes have 20% chance to drop from slain foes and get barrier. All right. Yep. I'll take it. And we get another scroll. Gain 1% damage for every max health. Flourish applies weakened. Enemies killed by Flourish have 50% chance to spawn black hole. All right. Let's pull them together. We get the piercing. So, yeah, that could work. The torn hunger, level 5. Shoo, that's the last one before the boss. Is that what it is? Uh, splices slow the cooldown rate of nearby scribes. Don't like that. Uh, Ravaging emits a singularity when killed, pulling in nearby scribes. Tangent damage will slam scribes into ground and slows. Long range attackers. I don't like that. Let's go with this one. Even though... It's worrisome. For sure. Okay. There is the there is the thing that we need to find. Are they like yeah? Okay, they are they are far away. Oh, for eight hundred, they are they are going close. I would love to have some kind of like attack speed increase. That would be so badass. All right, there are still enemies remaining. What is this? I think there is something on the left side. Oh, that's the that's the archer. Oh no. We are getting wrecked right now. 
Oh, that's the, that's the singularity. What the hell is just pulling us towards? I'm not using the jumping at all. So all, all those things, there are a lot of things, and when you incorporate them together, it's just better and better, right? Flourish deals another 50% damage after two seconds. Jot and Spoon Flourish gain barrier. Oh, Flourish deal more damage to enemies around. Ah, all right. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have go for a barrier. We got four, so we can unlock another one. At the start of each chapter, the font plays a pickup on the map. When collected, become imprevious. Damage taken reduced to zero. Or, at the start of each chapter, the fawn places a pickup on the map. When collected, gain 33% damage boost. We're going with this one. And what is the next? The fawn covers all temporary and nearby scribes to the signature in color. When the inscribe uses signature spell, the font pulls all torn to us. This is kind of cool. Maybe I should have go for this one because if I pull them together, the piercing should be go through. Uh, be going through. I think that's a that's a good combination. Torn hunger. So the last one. This is the boss. When the boss reaches forty percent health, all scribes become silenced. Boss also periodically hurls. I <laughs> know. Uh, uh, a revolverless elite reinforced the boss at the 80% health. I think I will go with this one. We just will survive the 8 seconds that we will be just running around dashing. I don't know. I don't know what will happen, but let's go with that. I will be really, really, ex like, you know, just survive that that long. I will be happy about that. Oh my god, I thought that will be on the boss. Nope, that's not, not the case. Okay, that one's... What the... What, what is going on here, huh? Okay, we can do a lot of damage. Oh, now we are silenced. Oh, we can't do anything! I thought we will be able to dash. No, not really. Alright, one dead. Oh, I missed. Oh no, it's just pulling me... Oh, that was cool. That was, that was kind of neat. All right, I use those. Ooh, let's go! First victory. So what do we have? What do we have? Collect reward. Pages unlocked. The pages may now appear in tomes, so we will have more of those things to be able to pick from. That's cool. Reward. A spend quill monster unlock abilities and inks. Love it. And. The Walls of Dawn, Dusk, Reward, the Mending, the Scribes, and Door. So now we collected everything. We can go back to the library. And we will be able to go for a different tome. And also with the same one. Oh, there, there, there's some statistics. Completion bonus. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we got another currency, it seems. Some some uh, some view, v, v coins or whatever it is. Total damage. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good stuff. Victory. Let's go to the library. So there is like 30 minutes run, or maybe less, right? Because there was a uh, there was a um, like tutorial even, so it's a less than 30 minutes run, which is kind of cool. I like that. Maybe it will be even str uh, like quicker when I will not be uh, like too much reading into the abilities because I will know them already. Scriptorium, you know, hundred scribes, you must now place your trust wholly in the power of ink. Here at the scriptorium, you will further explore the depths of that power. Learn, to grow, and fulfill your duties. I don't know what that means, but use the scriptorium to increase your ink level. Your ink level grants access to new inscriptions. Unlock and enhance new signature inks. Oh, so we at the beginning, we chose uh, the signature ink, right? And there are different ones. So we got this flourish. We could show, okay, browse, unlock and equip signature inks. Each ink has unique mechanics to master. You can review ink passives, mana, and signature spells. Signature challenges and more, more uh, will uh, arrive during early access. Okay, so we got this one, right? That that, uh, that the bloat, blot. Yes, that was the, se the second one that we could choose. And there is another one, green ink, permanent inkling in company. Oh, so there are summoning build. And there is a red one. Journey will apply feather. 
increase maximum health and forfeit all barrier. Oh, just you going all insane damage, but no barrier. Okay, full like for uh, how is a full uh, fuel and no brakes or something like that. Okay, so scriptorium, that's the one that uh, we can research. Use the quill marks here to research a power of ink. High ink levels unlock permanent boons and exhibition. So it's like roguelite. So behold your scriptorium. Okay, so we have it. But we can have, you may re-roll re a page choice, one in each tome. So if I will go research for 60, I will be able to unlock another one. And there are like list. It's not a battle pass. It's a, it's a progression. Okay, okay, okay. So inscription. Research higher ink levels to unlock new inscription rows. There is a lot of things to it. The inscription grants a permanent power. You may freely swipe your inscriptions. Signature inks also have their own powers. Alright, so now this is like neutral, right? And this is like specific for, for the one that we have. How can I unlock it? For three of what? Ink level. Ah, so here we increasing the levels. So for example, when we all have level three, we will unlock this one and we will be able to choose one of those three. So we will, we are like specifying our character to some kind of build. So for example, we will go for example, maximum health. And when I will choose a different weapon that will be like a melee, right? Not, not the ranged one. I will be able to utilize it maybe or something like that. Okay, so there is a possibilities and that's what you want from roguelikes. Signature inks. Yeah, you can unlock uh, unlock uh, new ones as we went through. So this is this is this is the thing. So we will go for research, I guess. And so there is nothing else to it. So Oh, okay. Let's hold it. Ooh. Dopamine rush and we are level 2. What do we have? You may reroll. That's that's nice. Let's go for another one. Okay, we got the thir third one. No. There's still one. Uh, let's go for another one. So are we... We are not even level 2. I don't know how that works. I'm just giving there the, the ink. But it's not going higher than 1. I don't know if that's a bug. Let, let's, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah there, there is, it was a bug. Because now, now we are level 4. What? Uh, is that what it is? Research? We are level 4. How, how, can I, how can I do that? It's still closed. Uh, so I guess that there is a bug, right? Because it, I should have been level 4 now. And access the first row with signature inscription. So when I'll go here, I will go signature. No, 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 no. This one. And I will go here. I can uh, unlock something. Maximum barrier. Your barrier starts with grenades faster after taking damage. Kind of cool. But let's go for maximum barrier. Can I? I don't. I, don't, I can't even know if I want. If I can or not. I guess I can't. Why? Why does this a thing? Maybe that. The, you may freely choose between inscription and send your spell and signature inks. I should be able to choose it, but I'm not. So, but that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know. So, oh, I have it. Uh, oh yeah, so there is a bug. Okay, I will choose it, but it will not go there. If I'll go back and forth, it will actually like um, apply that. Okay, so there is a small bug, uh, not thinking breaking, but yeah. Uh, it should be it's early access and this is this is easy solution I think for a for a patch or something flourish damage bonus increased by 10% flourish grants 15% damage for three seconds and signature spell damage I like the line glinting yes that's good we will use the glorish and then we will going for the jolts and that's uh, that's another progression we have here so is there anything else we can choose? Yeah, yeah, we can go through this. There is a scribe. Yeah, those are the abilities that you can unlock, but I spend my gems on something else. So later, alligator. Is there anything? We can go for a book, so for another run. Or there is something else. Customize. Oh, we get, uh, we get the V coins and we can buy what? Oh, skins. Oh, we can customize our, our hero somehow. Oh, okay. All right. 
I like that. Uh, I don't, I haven't seen any cash shop, anything like that. So I feel that uh, everything here is just cosmetics, but you can everything unlock within, uh, within the game. So you can, for example, go for Epic and you can change and mix match what you like. Oh, kind of cool. We can go for a yellow guy, for example. But we don't have anything. We have to, we have to spend more time in the battlefield and then less uh, in our closet. So that, that's, yeah, that's uh, saying something. Okay. Uh... Uh, what, I don't know if I like that everything... Oh, come back later, so there is more. Uh, I don't know if I like the, the idea that you have to, like, really, like, go around the room that much. Maybe it should be more compacted in one one uh, one area. I don't know. Uh, so we can go with a first book again. And beating Binding Level 1. Yeah. So if I will go with this one again, I think uh, I will be able to go for binding level one and it will be like modifier and uh, it will be everything will be stronger. And if I will beat it, I will get this um, rebuff. Your movement spell cast generate at the nearest enemy. Yeah, or we can go with a different book and that will that will just go for another. So there is a bunch of books that you when uh, you can unlock, and there is a different like stories or something like that. Oh yeah. So so yeah, that's a vellum. I hope you enjoyed this video. I I'm kind of excited to go for another run because th this is really fun. It, it's not that long, and the variety is insane. It's just in the first. 30 minutes I learn so many intricacies can can go together and you can really create your build you have four abilities for every single thing that you have and yeah there is a lot of lot of possibilities I think I, I yeah and this is just released to early access so you can go and check it yourself and maybe there will be more new content more systems who knows what will happen there is a roadmap uh, so you can check it out for yourself and that's all for me today thank you very much for being here thank you for your time if meantime you want to check out more content you can click on the videos above me or you can wait for another time and i will bring you another game yeah that's all that's all for me thank you and i'll see you next time peace